makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to enjoy life. Life with Luigi, a comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carol Nash, with Alan Reed as the story. friends, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum is a typically American product that appeals to people of all ages and nationalities in all parts of our country. And the Wrigley people feel that Life with Luigi is a typically American radio program, a friendly, enjoyable show that sort of symbolizes the American spirit of tolerance and goodwill. So the makers of refreshing, delicious Wrigley Spearmint Gum are glad to bring you Life with Luigi each week and have you join them in this pleasant half-hour's entertainment. And now let's read Luigi's letter as he writes about his adventures in America to his Mama Vasco in it. Dear Mama Me, Isn't it? And all the good Americans, are they moving out of their houses and they start to live in a wonder bigger place, sir. Department of Stores, sir. <laughs> Mama Me, you should have seen the crowd, sir. Yesterday, I was went to Susan Rosebuck to buy a two-cent washer for my sink, which is a leaking. Five times, I must start off to the hardware department. And five times, the crowd is pushing me back to the ladies' house coach. <laughs> but finally, I'm come home with a two-cent washer for the sink, which the clerk is a gift wrapped, tied with a pink ribbon and a stamped... Down, up, and up before Christmas. <laughs> Why well, does it turn out the nice anyway? This Christmas, even my sink is going to be surprised with a present. <laughs> Mama Mia, yesterday I'm sent to you your Christmas present. A bread toaster. This is a wonderful American invention, but it's the one thing I want to warn you about. Don't try to stuff the whole bread in one at a time. <laughs> Put in just one slice of bread and don't do nothing until you see the smoke come out. <laughs> then you take out the bread, the scrape off with the black part and eat. <laughs> this is a taste almost as good as a plain bread that's a stale. <laughs> but at a Christmas time, everybody has got a list with their friends' names on it. I'm going to get the mine too. Everybody's name is on it. Except my countryman Pasquale, because for him, I'm going to get something extra special. All the year long, I'm going to put away a dollar a week in my bank's Christmas fund. Till now, I'm going to get a fifty dollars. Just for this big surprise for Pasquale. He's a wonderful surprise. And it's such a big secret, I'm going to hate even to tell him myself. <laughs> but you, I'm going to tell them, Mamma Mia. You see, everybody is to get to somebody they got... Oh, wait, the Pasquales are coming to my store now. I'm going to write to you later. Luigi, my friend. Hello, Luigi. Hello, hello. Hello, Pasquale. Merry Christmas. And a Merry Christmas to you, too, little banana nose. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi, I know you're short of money, so don't get me nothing you can't pay out to the 12 easy installments. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Pasquale. Uh, uh, Pasquale. Are you finished with your Christmas shopping yet? Luigi, how would you like to see television every night the next year? No, no, Pasquale, you shouldn't. Uh... Don't worry, I didn't. <laughs> huh? Ah, Luigi, I'm only teasing. I'm going to buy you a big, beautiful television set. Oh, Pasquale, how wonderful. And I'm not going to get you just a plain little 10-inch screen. Mm. No, this is going to have a big 20-inch screen. It's going to keep out all the flies. <laughs> oh, I thank you. Thank you, Pasquale. Uh, also, this set is going to have a hundred foot electric cord. Yeah, but Pasquale, I'm going to get a little room. I'm going to need a hundred foot electric cord to reach the socket. Uh, I forgot to tell you something, little cabbage puss. You're going to plug the cord into your store, but the television is set is going to play into my daughter Rosa's room. <laughs> Pasquale, you mean every time I'm going to watch my television set, I'm going to do it with your daughter? That's right, you lucky pups, you. <laughs> Pasquale, if you don't mind, I'm going to listen to my radio. That's not it. Don't you think it's enough to see on the television? Yeah, sure, Pasquale, but, but with your daughter Ross in the room, 
Who's going to be able to see it? <laughs> oh, Luigi, will you stop with a fat talk? So what if my rose is a weight 250 pounds? It's not so big as all the way you look at it. <laughs> Pasquale, if you don't mind, I'm rather not to look. <laughs> Luigi, why don't you think about it? Be fair. Remember, there's a two sides to everything. Two sides? The roses have got more sides than a four-way cold tablet. <laughs> Making me so mad, reminding me after you give me my Christmas present, I should have never speak to you again. <laughs> All right, Mr. Now, now, if you don't mind, please, I'm going to go to my night school. All right, go, go, Luigi. Now, remember, don't go spending any money on me for Christmas. My waist is a 46, and my neck size is 19. Huh? <laughs> also, I'm like to play cards. I could use a tray, automatic shuffling, two plastic decks. That's for when I play Kanatsa. Well, all right, all right, Pascale. Goodbye. I'm, I'm going to see you later. Goodbye. <laughs> Little pumpkin head. Where is he going to get the money to buy the good presents anyway? He's always got to come to me for money. <laughs> I'm his private little marshal plan. <laughs> hey, what's this he's left behind? The envelope. I'm a no like it to peek. Oh, for once to peek on me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's this? Fifty dollars. Oh, he's a do something behind my back. Let's see what is he write on this paper. Christmas, Celeste. Well, my name must be on the top. Mrs. Spaulding. Huh? Schultz, Horowitz, Olsen. <laughs> he must be saving me for the last. Mailman, Rosa, window cleaner, Officer Flanagan, Tommy the newsboy, Jake the pickle man. He's left me out. Fifty dollars. He's a hit away from me, and he's a left of me out. Me, he's a guardian in America. When he's a come here from Italy, I give him his first pair of shoes, his first haircut, his first comic book. And when he's a not going to read it, I help him out. I got a somebody to read it to him. <laughs> no president of Pasquale, huh? Well, I'm going to show him this list. And this the money... I ain't going to keep it. I'm just going to hold it for him till Christmas. Christmas of 1999. All right, class. Quiet, please. After all the roll. Mr. Basco? Here. Mr. Howard? Here. Mr. Olson? Here. Mr. Schultz? Up, dancer. Up, dancer. Up, dancer. Up, listen. Mr. Schultz, are you supposed to be Santa Claus? That's what my wife's relatives think. <laughs> come on, Dancer, come on, Dancer. Mr. Schultz, enough of that, and stop cracking your belt. All right. Down, Hickok. Hickok. <laughs> 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 smile, Miss Spaulding. It's just the Christmas spirit. Here, here's a present I bought for you. Some voodoo perfume. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Mr. Schultz. Uh, Miss Spaulding, I brought you something, too. Uh -huh. Yeah, now here's my gift to Miss Spaulding. I brought you something also. Ooh, what a bunch of copycats. <laughs> <laughs> well, class, this is... Well, it, it's wonderful. I, I can't find the words. Who cares? <laughs> Just so long as you don't find the price tag. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Schultz, how do we start in here? I'm going to brought you some little things, too. Thank you, Luigi. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Should I do it to him now? Sure, go ahead. Give it to him. Go ahead. All yeah. right. <clears throat> Luigi, uh, we all got together yesterday after class, and, uh, well, we all talked about you and what a nice little fellow you was, and, uh, but we shipped in, and here's your Christmas present, and that's all. Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh. Oh, friends, uh, what a wonderful present. This is the most beautiful fountain of pen I've ever owned. This is the only fountain of pen I'm ever on. Oh. <laughs> and a mamma mia, look. A gold top and a beautiful inside. Luigi, go ahead, read the inscription that we wrote to you on the pen. Your hall of it, yeah, and they come straight from the hall. All right, I'm, I'm a read. Fourteen carat gold filled. 
Luigi, you are eating the points. Here are the cap you read. Oh. Oh. With the sincere friendship of Christmas in 1950. Oh, class, that's beautiful. And I can't think of any other words that you could have added. More words? See, if we added any more words, you'd have ended up with two fountain pens. <laughs> Luigi, we're glad you like it. It was just a slight return for the present you got us. Uh, Luigi, what did you get for Pasquale? Well, uh, well uh, for Pasquale, I'm uh, getting something extra special. You see, he's the one who's uh, brought me to this uh, country. This uh, wonderful uh, country, America. And you see, well, he's a watch over me all the time, so, so I'm getting to him big surprise. A wallet? A what? A necktie? A noose? <laughs> no, no, class, none of those things. It's a surprise and well, a... Give us a hint, anyhow. Well, is it something that Pasquale not going to touch, smell, or feel? He's not going to keep it, but once he's got it, he's not going to exchange it. Stop, Luigi, <laughs> you're getting us all for shimmel. Come on, Luigi. You, 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 you just got our curiosity all around. What are you going to give Pasquale? Well, uh, yesterday I um, went to the bank, uh, took out the money, and I um, said to myself, what am I going to get a Pasquale that's uh, different? Something, uh, something that uh, nobody has ever gave anybody before. Aha, so you're getting him a shrunken mummy head, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Schultz, please stop interrupting and let Mr. Basco finish. Well, anyway, anyway, I'm a took the money and I'm a... I'm a... Uh, Mamma mia! Something wrong, Mr. Basco? What? Hey, as well as the Christmas money. It's a miss and I'm a lost it. Luigi, wait, wait. Just look in all your pockets. Yeah, but I'm... Home, a... And try to think where you might have left it. No, 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 I'm a left it to no place. I'm, I'm a lost it. That's terrible. Please, please, Miss Spalding, you excuse me. I'm, 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 I'm gotta go look for it. Certainly, Mr. Basso. Oh, Luigi, don't take it so hard. Smile, that's only money. <laughs> so you lost it. What are you going to do? Jump off the bridge? How much money did you lose? Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars? Luigi, move over and I'll jump off with you. <laughs> return to life with Luigi, here's a suggestion that'll add to your family's Christmas fun and enjoyment. While you're doing the rest of your Christmas shopping, include some packages or a box of healthful, delicious Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum. Hang a few glistening packages of Wrigley's Spearmint on your tree. They're white, red, and green, and they'll give your tree an added attractive touch of holiday color and cheer. Slip a few packages of Wrigley's Spearmint into Christmas stockings, too. They'll delight the children. And Wrigley's Spearmint is a wholesome, refreshing treat for your family to enjoy after those big holiday meals. So for extra holiday enjoyment that costs very little, remember to get a supply of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum. And now let's turn to page two of Luigi Basco's letter to his mother in it. And so, Mamma Mia, is there no use even to tell you what the wonderful present I was going to get for Pasquale? Because I was lost the fifty dollars, I was a saving for it. All night long, I'm looking the streets with my searchlight. I'm going to find the fifty dollars, and I'm going to have a fight with the two people in a parked the car. Also, in my house, I'm going to look all over under my rug, in the flower pot, in the chandelier. And all I'm found is a dust, of two flowers, and a lamp that's no work. <laughs> also, I'm a pushed away all the furniture, swept up all the floors, the dust under the couch and the bed. I'm a no find the money, Mamma Mia. But today I'm a got the cleanest house or room in Chicago. <laughs> Mamma Mia, I'm a no got the heart to look at the Pasquale. Right now I'm a seeing it through my window. And he's a talking to Ross and he's a very mad. <laughs> yeah, I'm a can I just imagine what he's a saying to her about to me. Rosa, stop eating for a minute. I want to talk to you. All right, Papa. Rosa, who's the best friend the Luigi's ever had? You, Papa. Yes, uh, and who's the treated him better, fairer than anybody else in the country? You, Papa. Yes, and who's it turned out to be a rotten, ungrateful jackass? You, Papa. Yes. <laughs> Papa. 
But this I send you to school. Can't you say nothing but you, Papa? <laughs> Go back to you, Papa. <laughs> Russia, from now on, we true with Luigi. Don't ever associate with him. Don't go near him. And don't ever let me see you thinking about him. Can I marry him, Papa? Not even that. <laughs> Russia, if he was to come back to you on his hands and knees, what would you say to him? Luigi, you want to play piggyback? Oh, shut up! <laughs> I'm so mad with him. He's never going to get it back as a $50. Some Christmas, the last days I had. Presents for everybody. Even a Jake and a pickle of man. But for me, nothing. It's not the present so much. I wouldn't have cared if he was to give me a cheap 29 set of necktie. The same one I gave him last year. <laughs> oh, I'm so mad at him. I'm going to cut him out of my will. Papa, have you got a will? I gotta make one just so I can cut them out. <laughs> Papa, maybe Luigi just forgot about you. Oh, it's impossible. I've been a hinting since the Thanksgiving. <laughs> God, huh? Rosa, mind the stall. I'm gonna talk with that little pup squeak. I can't stand this. I've gotta find out why he's left me out of his Christmas list. He better have a good reason or else I'm gonna break his neck and. Uh, Hello, Luigi. Hello, Pasquale. Merry Christmas. That all depends. What are you looking so sad about? You did something you sorry for, maybe? Pasquale, I'm, I'm lost little white envelope. Maybe you was a fan? Absolutely not that I can approve it with six of witnesses. <laughs> I'm a believer, you, Pasquale. Uh, Luigi. What? You, uh... Didn't forget anything lately, huh? Forget it? Yes, you know, it's a season now for Santa Claus. People are being generous. Fill the stockings over the fireplace. Pasquale, I'm... I'm sorry, but... Don't butt me no butts. <laughs> Luigi, all year long you've been crying about that broken down old radio you got that's always a blow of tools. So yesterday I went out to the body or something. Uh, a new radio? No, three new tubes. <laughs> that was going to be your present, including a few other things I was going to get you. But now you can forget them. Pasquale, Pasquale, please listen. After all, a fellow who's a forget, I'm alive. Yeah, but Pasquale, I'm a... I'm a... Hey, I'm a didn't forget you. Ah, huh? you got something for me, Luigi? <laughs> you save it for a surprise. Uh, yeah, 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 Pasquale. Yeah, here's, here's a your present and a, and a Merry Christmas. Oh, Luigi, what a beautiful fountain of pen. Yeah. Look, a gold cap, 14 carats a point. And, oh, it's the right now. It? Yeah. With a sincere friendship, Christmas in 1950. Luigi, i got to apologize to you. I had you all wrong. Oh, well. It's uh, so right, Pasquale. As long as you happy now. Luigi, I can't tell you how happy I am. But uh, now you did me a favor, I'm going to do you a little favor. <laughs> Pasquale, please, no roses. No, it's not the roses. It's something else. Luigi, when you left the store yesterday, I was standing there, and suddenly... Luigi, I... my fellow boober. Oh. Hello, Schutz. Ach, my Luigi. Merry Christmas to everybody. Even you, Pasquale. Merry Christmas to Mr. Delicatessen, the man. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi, I never got it a chance to really thank you for that little wallet you gave me for a present. That's right, Schutz. You're in a good health. Uh, I love that little secret compartment inside where you can hide some money, you know. You know, that's really very tricky. It took my wife ten minutes to find it. <laughs> oh, smile, everybody. Be like me, always laughing. <laughs> my rheumatism is killing me. <laughs> anyway, Luigi, thanks for the wallet. It's too bad that you didn't find your yeah, money. Yeah, 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 Schultz, uh, Schultz, uh, I'm, I'm, I want to talk to you. Now, just a second, Luigi. Pasquale, it's too bad that Luigi couldn't get your present this year. No. Uh, what are you talking about? The Luigi would never forget his best friend. Now, shut up. Pasquale, I was... Uh, Schultz, uh, Luigi's uh, giving this uh, for me. 
That's oh, a no. very suspensive appraisal, isn't it? Himmelin, Dr. Beresheim fountain pen, the class gave you, Luigi. What? Yeah, 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 sure, sure, sir. Hey, yeah. I'm like it so much, I'm one out and I got the same wonderful first quality. Uh-huh. And where's yours, Luigi? Well, mine is, uh, well, uh, well, well, you see, Schultz, uh, on the way home from school, I'm lost to mine. Oh, you did, huh? Uh -huh. Then tell me this, Luigi. How could you buy for Spali a fountain pen if you lost the $50? Luigi, you mean you couldn't buy me a present when you lost the money? So you gave me the fountain pen the classes I gave to you? Merry Christmas, Mr. Pasquale. <laughs> Luigi. Luigi, why didn't you tell him why you didn't give him a present? Pasquale, do you know that this little wiener schnitzel has been saving a dollar a week from his lunches and car fares just so he could prepare a big surprise for you? Luigi, you was going to spend all the $50 on me. What could you buy? A suit, the coat, the shoes, a down payment on an automobile? No, no, Pasquale, it wasn't nothing like it. That was... Was there nothing you could wear or eat or play with? Was, uh, well, uh, was there something uh, for the heart? Well, what? Tell us already. To me, to me, Christmas is, uh, is not just the giving of things. Well, it's, it's uh, for the spirit. Peace, sunlight, uh, goodwill toward the man. And, uh, Pasquale, if uh, what I was uh, going to give you would have uh, made you feel that way, that would have been a real Christmas present. Luigi, where is this present? Maybe if you was suddenly to find the money, you could still buy it. No, no, Pasquale, it isn't that in the story. You see, I, well, I was went to the church, and I said to Father Connie, Father Connie, I'm going to be glad to give the church $50 if on a Christmas night... You little the boys of choir with the beautiful voices, uh, was it to come and sing outside of Pasquale's restaurant? Little the boys of choir? Yes. Yeah. Ach, Luigi, only you could think of a thing like that. Yeah, but, uh, well, what's the use? I was uh, supposed to be there this morning, but I'm, I'm didn't have the money. I'm, I'm sorry, Pasquale. I'm... Hey, Pasquale, where are you going? I've got to kill myself. What? <laughs> Luigi, I'm the worst rat that's ever crawled on the face of this earth. You see, I was the one that found the... Uh... Hey, Luigi. What's the rat? Hey, Pasquale. That's... That's the little boy's choir. Yeah, there was... Hey, there was a come anyway. And there's a Farrakhani. Open the doors. Let's hear. Yeah. Yeah, listen to beautiful. Yeah, but, but I'm not expected you to come. I'm going to bring you the money. Luigi, the church never asks for money in advance. In advance? But, Father, I'm not got to nothing. You see, I was lost. The... Luigi, look, under the table. What the envelope? Hey, that's looking like my envelope. Wait a minute. I'm going to look inside. Yeah, yeah, there's the money in the side. 
Have my money. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. Sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, hundred. You see, Luigi, you found your money after all. Yeah, but, but Father, how is it possible? It was only fifty in the envelope, and there's a hundred. Luigi, it's a Christmas time. A miracle can happen. Yeah. Yeah, Pasquale. But, um, I'm a wonder who's made the miracle. Pasquale has got his Christmas present after all. And I'm finished with this letter to you with the, my brand new fountain of pen. Pasquale is the one to write some extra words on it, like, uh, you best friend of Pasquale, and, uh, well, about the Schultz is in a letter. So now is a pen and a pencil are set. <laughs> Mamma mia, maybe, maybe you're thinking it to yourself. My present was meant to Pasquale. Well, I'm going to tell you. After everybody is went away, the father, the choir, Schultz, everybody. I've looked at the empty envelope and, and I'm going to say to Pasquale, Pasquale, you made the miracle. And Pasquale has said to me, No, Luigi, you did it. It's a take a miracle to make a miracle. Merry Christmas, Mamma Mia. The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum hope you've enjoyed tonight's Christmas episode of Life with Luigi, and they'd like to remind you that with Christmas just ahead, you'll want to have an extra supply of Wrigley's Spearmint Gum in your house. A few colorful packages of Wrigley's Spearmint to hang in your Christmas tree, some to put in the children's stockings, and some to pass around before and after those hearty holiday meals. Remember, Wrigley's Spearmint Gum is an ideal treat to top off a meal because chewing Wrigley's Spearmint aids digestion sweetens the breath and freshens the taste. So when you're doing your final Christmas shopping this week, include a supply of healthful, delicious Wrigley Spearmint chewing gum. Wrigley Spearmint will add to your family's fun and enjoyment during the holidays. The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to listen next week at this time when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his Mama Basco in Italy. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production and is directed by Mr. Howard. Mac Benoff writes the script with Lou Dermott. J. Carol Nash is starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale, Jody Gilbert as Rosa, Hans Conrad as Schultz, Mary Ship as Miss Spalding, Joe Forte as Horowitz, and Ken Peters as Olsen. And featuring the Robert Mitchell Choir Boy. Music is under the direction of Lud Russell. Bob Stevenson speaking. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.